All right. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, my name is Yuji Yazawa from Toyota Motor Corporation, as well as Vice Chair of Soda Governing Board and Chair of Soda and uh, User Advisory Committee. Today, uh, I, I will facilitate this session and talk to you about overview and mission of Soda Foundation. After that, Kei Kusunoki from NTT Communication will talk to you about the project. Yuzo from China Unicorn will talk to you about YIG projects. Then Vivian Su from Intel will talk to you about outreach committee. <clears throat> Each person will speak for about 10 minutes for a total of 40 minutes with five minutes left to QA. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> In 2016, Dell EMC, Fujitsu, Hitachi, Huawei, Intel, and Vodafone founded OpenSDS. We got increasing requests during discussing OpenSDS and many companies, including Toyota, joined to OpenSDS. With the majority support of OpenSDS members, we are transforming the project into Soda Foundation. Soda Foundation is a home for open source dealer and storage projects. As you can see, many major companies joined to Soda Foundation. The Soda Foundation provides an open, collaborative, and neural home for project stakeholders to coordinate the development and community investments in the Soda ecosystems. <clears throat> The mission of SODA is to foster an ecosystem of open source data management and storage software for data autonomy, to offer a neural forum for cross-project collaboration and in integration, to provide end users quality end-to-end -end solutions, Today, there are many challenges such as data silos, non-standard interfaces, support solutions, and something like that, because our environment is being to more complexity. I actually used to work for Yahoo Japan Corporation as a principal storage architect. There were hundreds of storage systems and several petabytes of storage devices there, managed mainly by me. In fact, we were operating with only three people, including me. As shown on this slide, we had no choice but to avoid increasing the number of storage types as mixing different mo models unnecessarily makes management more complicated. That's why even if there was a product we were uh, technically interested in, we couldn't easily introduce it. This is a very sad story of missed opportunities to gain experience as an engineer. Anyway, it can be said that the configuration described in the side slide not only lead to complicated administration, increased operational costs and locking, but it also take away the opportunity to even take new initiatives. <clears throat> Soda is a single data framework connecting 
different solutions into seamless end-to-end -end solutions. This framework is open source, allowing any developer, vendor, or end user to build and expand upon it. <clears throat> if we had soda when I was at Yahoo Japan Corporation, even there were only three operational members, the operational load would not be too high, and we would be able to take on new challenges. <clears throat> SODA is an open source unified autonomous framework for data mobility from edge to core to cloud. The key highlight is open source standardization, ecosystem, and certification. <coughs> so the foundation is overseen by the governing board and supported by the technical steering committee and user advisory committee and outreach committee. Technical steering committee read touring project and oversees collaboration with upstream. End user advisory committee is a forum for end user companies to discuss and exchange information on use cases and requirements and to provide feedback on soda testing. Outreach committee oversees emerging evangelization, uh, communications, outreach, events, and training. <clears throat> from now, um, Kei Kusunoki uh, from NTD Communication will take over and talk about the projects. Kusunoki-san, uh, please uh, get start your session. Can you hear me? Okay. So, hi. Um, this is Kei Kusunaki. Oh, okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm chair of the technical sharing committee working on energy communication. Um, today, uh, I'd like to introduce the project to Minnesota. So, we we were formally uh, opening this. Uh, as we are changed to SODA, uh, we organized the all development activities. And um, here is the project list. We made the three project categories. Um, the first is core uh, project. Um, um, that is mainly open source development activity. Core project deal with fundamental center part of data autonomy art, art, autonomy art architecture, like will okay. Okay, uh, sorry, um, the first is a core project. Um, the core project deal with fundamental center part of data autonomy architecture, like North and uh, South Bound API, plugin, storage infrastructure management, et cetera. Um, it is initiated by formerly OpenSDS community and now governed by SODA community. Of course, um, every SODA release will contain new core project features or improvements. Um, next is native project. This category is for a uh, donated project that was developed by third party or SODA member. SODA welcome new storage project to form open data aut autonomy ecosystem. Uh, we support this native project um, to work with core project, but the original organization can govern the project independently. Uh, they can choose whether their software version is pushed to solver release. 
uh, for example, uh, next, uh, for example, uh, G release, and we, we are now F, uh, F release. Uh, so now uh, let me uh, talk about example. For example, G release has new future from native project, but the next H release don't, doesn't have anything. So it is optional to, uh, it is optional to follow SODA release. And the sub is echo project. As you know, there are so many open source projects that are deal with soda stretch data directory in directory. Uh, so to achieve open data ecosystem, uh, it is significantly uh, important um, that these open source software can use soda, work with soda. So we make eco project category for such open source project uh, to show that we are trying to uh, build soda ecosystem together. Uh, of course, uh, eco project is managed, governed by other open source community, uh, don't follow soda release. Uh, but so the community will support specific use case or integration or something like that. So, okay. So this is a landscape of our project. Uh, top line is Echo project. Currently, we are working on two projects, OpenEPS and KubeEdge. And the middle line is native project. Uh, YIG became Soda native project, donating their code to Soda. Uh, it will be introduced later by Zou Yu. Uh, additionally, Linstore and Zenko have discussed to the joint. Uh, finally, uh, bottom line is core project. We have API, controller, multi cloud, plugin, doc, dashboard, et cetera. Um, let me explain core project seeing uh, Soda architecture overview. So, this is a uh, Soda architecture overview. Um, in Soda architecture, uh, core project is located at the center. It's a kind of hub uh, from northbound. Uh, Kubernetes, OpenStack, VMware platform, or any other application can use Soda uh, through API, um, the plugin. And uh, to southbound, uh, Soda will orchestrate traditional storage array and uh, software defined storage. And uh, in terms of east westbound, uh, Soda form uh, data lifecycle management uh, through March Cloud like AWS, or Azure, Google, so on. And uh, next. So here is a list of essential core projects. And uh, so, yeah. We, uh, of course, we have more dashboard of uh, infrastructure management or something like that. So, and uh, This is a detailed diagram about architecture. Uh, I wanted to uh, explain it, but unfortunately, I don't have enough time today. So advanced session about core project and architecture uh, will, be uh, will be provided in Soda Mini Summit July 2nd. Uh, I appreciate it if you could join it. Okay. So lastly, uh, I'd like to talk more about the native project. Uh, as I said, uh, YIG is only native project, and uh, we are discussing with Zenko and Linstor. Um, while we have kept trying to make new friends, uh, we are working to crystallize Soda incubator program. So uh, this program has governance policy for each project. It covers the uh, uh, proposal process, growing process, review process, and the acceptance criteria for each stage. Um, besides this program, we will also considering uh, concrete benefit and the support from Soda Foundation. So by this program, we hope to continue expanding Soda ecosystem. Uh, please stay tuned. The final part is, uh, yeah, actually it's kind of a handover to uh, you, Zou. Uh, so this is YIG project. So the detailed presentation is next talk. So yeah, thank you, thank you so much for the listening. So so Yuzo, are you are you okay to the presentation?
system. And today I will introduce our eager project. And uh, I will introduce the eager from uh, two pounds. The first is uh, the first. Uh, the first is uh, the first. And second, I will, um, I will uh, have uh, intro, I will intro, uh, introduce the architecture of you and some basics. Uh, in the early stage, we use the self radio gateway as our object story stories. But uh, along with our business growth, we meet some problems. Uh, for example, if there are too many files in the bucket, it will take, uh, take longer time to return to list uh, objects in the bucket. This will slow down the request uh, of, the, uh, of the user. And also, in a large self cluster, if we do some intention of the server, Uh, the back, the recovery and the back feeling will introduce some proper cross system performance, and will it will slow down the user request also. Uh, because uh, Redux gateway can't share the uh, cache, uh, it it uh, will difficult to use the central cache in the Redux gateway. So at that time, we try to find some solution, find some solutions to solve this problem. But unfortunately, we didn't, uh, we, did, we didn't get a solution in the Redux gateway. So we decided to develop a project that is eager. In eager project, uh, we, ma we make better polling performance for metadata because all the metadata are saved in EEG and uh, man management by EEG. And uh, all, uh, some other auxiliary functions such as log static capacity and user authentication are moved to other systems. And also many EEG instances can share the same central catch and also, in, it, uh, all, and also this improves the, the catch performance. And uh, this is the architecture of the user. Eager can management uh, Many um, multiple self clusters. So the self cluster in EEG, uh, uh, the self cluster in EEG just, uh, just uh, provide the basic IO storage. And all the metadata are saved in EEG and uh, managed, managed, uh, managed, managed, managed by EEG. In the bottom, there are self clusters and uh, they are management. Uh, they are managed by eager, cl uh, eager cluster, and all the metadata are saved in TiDB currently. We use TiDB for our meta meta metadata management, but uh, you can use uh, your favorite database system because eager has abstracted the interfaces for the metadata management, and also for us. For authentication, you can write your authentication plugin and uh, plug and uh, um, plug it in the eager and it will solve your authentication purpose.
and for eager mass data, currently we save the we save the metadata into TiDB, and because TiDB is a distributed database system, and uh, compared with MySQL, there is no row number limitation in a single single table, and it is very easy to to perform expansion. So the list object uh, in 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 will take a short time than that in Redux gateway, and uh, by using this kind of math, uh, method without the problems we meet in the Redux gateway. And for file processing, Eager will classify two kinds of files according to their size. We will, Eager will handle the small file, and this kind of small file can be saved in a whole inside cluster with, replic with, with replication enabled. And uh, another kind of file is the large file. The large file can be saved in Dev Pool with EC enabled. Because using EC, we can save the storage space. And that's all from Eager project. And welcome to use it and try it. Thanks. Okay, I'll start. Uh, here's Vivian. Uh, I'm based in Shanghai, and uh, this is early morning. <laughs> okay, so session, and uh, currently I'm working for the Intel storage domain. And today, uh, oh, there's some delay to switch the pages. Okay, so hope you can switch. Okay, so yeah, today I will talk about the Soldier global community, uh, including what is Soldier Foundation and Soldier Governance, and also how the global outreach com committee, community. And uh, so our major focus today uh, for this session is more about the outreach uh, committee. We will also look back key events happened or organized by outreach committee and happening in the last one year. So as introduced at the beginning by uh, Yuji, that you know, Soda Foundation is a Soda Foundation that aims to foster an ecosystem of open source data and the storage software for data autonomy. And you can see that there are, uh, there are many, custom, many companies joined at the uh, foundation of the Soda, and including China Unicorn, Fujitsu, uh, Toyota, uh, Huawei uh, and many other companies here. I will not just go through them one by one. And uh, so, and uh, if you look at organization uh, under the Soda Foundation, you can find that we have uh, uh, there are three major uh, committees here, committees here to support it, including the Technical Steering Committee. On the bottom left block, uh, in the use advisory committee, uh, it the EU AC on the middle block and the outreach committee showed on the bottom right block. So what's the major goal of the outreach committee? Outreach committee is responsible for the evangelism, keeps the continuous communication for the community, host events, and provide training to strive the solar community. And uh, in different years, we have a coordinating uh, outreach committee, and uh, also, you know, they are, uh, they, they, uh, the country we have five outreach committees uh, located in North America, Japan, China, India, and Europe. In the past 2019, SODA committee hosted multiple events along with global open source events. So. Uh, we have the last year we have the Kubacon Barcelona in Europe. At the that time, we have the mini summit of Soda in early May, Kubacon China in Shanghai in November, 
Cloud Native Days in Tokyo, and Open Source Event in, uh, in India. All, in, all that events, you can see the sort of uh, meetup or mini summit or according talks. The uh, you you can just uh, replay their uh, videos uh, showed up in the you know in the media. And in December, uh, in Tokyo, we host the sort of formation meetings at Sony, Tokyo headquarters. More than 25 organizations participate in the sort of formation meeting. In December, along with China Unicorn World Club Summit, so the China Committee was launched. There is a bit of delay, uh, delay to just change the presentation. Hope you we are on the same page. Uh, yeah, currently just move to the so the formation uh, pages. Okay, so in Europe, uh, since year 2017, for the first so the member meeting, every year we have a calling events or, or meetings to have code speech or to do the demo or project draft joined in the SOTA Foundation. And just updated by the uh, by Uzo, you can find that uh, Eagle Project is also donated and they're joined into the SOTA Foundation. And uh, so let's go back to the US. Uh, there's also so many technical forum and events or uh, uh, conference happened there, right? So that's why, you know, in each such kind of uh, conference, we also have a calling, um, uh, a calling speech there to promote the SOTA. And, uh, and also, you know, such kind of communication and the events will continue to happen in this year. So, but unfortunately, due to the outbreak of coronavirus for year 2019, all offline events has been canceled or be postponed or just the change to the virtual uh, events, right? So, but moving to the Q3, we are Q3 and Q4 of this year. We have planned multiple events and work on all you guys can particip participate. In Q3, uh, uh, sort of mini summit in North America, and uh, we also planned the sort of days at Microsoft in August uh, in India. In September, global intensive there is uh, so many you know intensive events happened there, including the Cloud Native days in Tokyo, so the former uh, forum along with Kubernetes days in London, so the forum Japan and the Signal SDC in Santa Clara. So all such kind of events will also have according in parallel sessions for SOTA. In Q4, you will see that uh, SOTA Forum India, Open Infrastructure Summit in Berlin, Signal SDC India, and OSS in Dublin. In November of Kubicon, Boston, you will see SOTA Forum there. So moving to the December, then the Foundation Member Forum in Tokyo, you also can just uh, see SOTA and also can have the a conversation with the key members from the soldier. Uh, so, so whatever which city you are city, uh, you are located in, uh, you can participate uh, participate according to the uh, uh, events. And uh, also, we wish we can see you there. So, uh, this is all for the update for the outreach committee in the past uh, of, uh, in the past one year. And uh, also, you know, moving to this year, we hope we can have more, you know, events and uh, can talk with you offline or maybe just virtual. And also, working you join into the Soda Foundation. So that's all for update from me. And uh, thanks for your time. And uh, we will move to the uh, Q&A session. And uh, oh, by the way, thanks all our previous speakers from UG, Ken, Izo, and now uh, we co-developed the uh, co presenter for both sessions. And this is topic for a new home for data and storage collaboration. And moving forward, let's go to the Q and session. Uh, so welcome to uh, to raise up any questions uh, and also, you know, uh, you can just uh, uh, raise up questions to the specific uh, speakers or just uh, uh, just ask all questions uh, to ask all the guys. Thanks.
so is there any question about our session audience It seems to be nothing. All right. So uh, th th thank you so much for attending our session. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.